the new Penny Dreadful series. Now, if you haven't seen the Penny Dreadful, the previous one, it's probably not much of an interest for you, but I was a huge fan of Penny Dreadful series starring Eva Green. Why? Because I think Eva Green is one of the common on Earth. I met Duncan for Sin City 2. Oh, God. I was like, <gasps> she was like, right in front of me, man. It's just like, oh, my God. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. She's just, I've, I've been a big fan of her since The Dreamers um, for all the obvious reasons. <laughs> so Showtime has announced that the next installment or next chapter of Penny Dreadful Saga is happening with the title Penny Dreadful City of Angels. So Penny Dreadful aired, I think it's in 2014. I think it's yeah, 2014 all the way to 2016 for three seasons. And it was set in the... Um, like eight, I want to say 19th century London. So, and the, the focus was uh, horror, horror characters, you know, horror legends like um, Jekyll and Hyde, Dracula, Dorian Gray, um, Van Helsing, um, the Wolfman. And uh, so, yeah, those, so any horror folklore, horror, horror creature, it's part of that installment penny dreadful now penny dreadful city of los angeles so now the show has become like an anthology just like any other show these days everything's anthology um there's no consistency anymore <laughs> uh, so don't expect evergreen to don't expect evergreen or josh uh hartnett or timothy dalton from the previous installment don't expect any of them to return because penny dreadful uh City of Los Angeles will be set in 1938 LA, a time and place deeply fused with Mexican American folklore and social tension rooted in the conflict between the characters connected to the deity Santa Muerte and others allied with the devil. Well, uh, the show will explore an exciting mix of the supernatural and the combustible reality of that period, creating new occult myths and moral dilemmas within a genuine historical backdrop. This chapter is a bold new vision that will employ all new characters and storylines. Okay, I'm excited about this. Now, do I know much about Mexican-American folklore? No, I don't. I, um, As you know, I'm Indonesian. I, I grew up in Asia. I um, I haven't read much about Mexican-American Mexican folklore. I don't know what creatures are part of that Mexican-American folklore. I only hear bits and pieces about chupacabra, chupacabra. I think that's what they call it, chupacabra. Um, and there's another uh, creature or ghost that they're, they're making a movie about th that myth that's coming up. I think it's WB. And they had a trailer not too long ago. And everybody's like, oh, my God, you know, it's that, that, it's that urban legend from the Mexican folklore. But, you know, when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, um, I don't know much about it, but it looks interesting. Um, but, of course, I'm a big horror fan. So I'm a big... Supernatural thriller fans. Uh, that's why I, I watch Sabrina, as I mentioned to you earlier. Um, so yeah, I'm very very excited about this Penny Dreadful series, and you know it's a chance to um, show a more diverse cast, right? So um, and that's always a good thing. Uh, why the hell not? Um, bring it on! Right now, I don't have any objections or any strong opinions other than like yeah. Show me the episodes, and I'll be the judge of them. Um, that's it. What do you guys think about Penny Dreadful, City of Los Angeles? I'm sorry, not City of Los Angeles. What did I say City of Los Angeles? City of Angels. Jeez, Rama. The title is Penny Dreadful, City of Angels, not Los Angeles. The, the story is set in Los Angeles, 1938. But the title is Penny Dreadful, City of Angels. So what do you, think, what do you guys think about it? Uh, are you excited? Are you familiar with the Mexican American folklore? If you are, what do you want to see included from the Mexican American folklore in this show? What do you want to see them uh, include in the show? Let me know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe to this channel. All right. Before we get to the last topic here, um, Tyler says, that's right, the, the La Llorona. Thank you, Tyler. See, I need folks like you guys to remind me. I uh, 
I'm aging here. My memory is not as uh, not as sharp as it used to be. <laughs> I'm going senile. So, so I don't know much about the La Llorona myth, myth or urban legend. Um, but I'm looking forward to the movie. And you know what? If Penny Dreadful City of Angels has or features its own version of La Llorona arc, um, that'd be pretty cool too. Maybe something that's different from the movie that's coming up, right? Um, so you can have you can have two interpretation of the same myth.